Roland F140R in contemporary black. Since it's a video, you can see it's black. It's already turned on. It takes about a minute to warm up and make a note. I always start my uh, presentations with a, a little a preface, and that is Concert A. I did some research, and Concert A. Uh, in uh, recent times, uh, many uh, professional level orchestras, symphonies, uh, have chosen to the frequency uh, 442 hertz F, uh, on the uh, audio spectrum as a concert A. So, um, metronome split F7, F, oops, oops. F07 is set to 42.0, which corresponds with 442. That's 442 hertz. With a whole bunch of harmonics. Two twenty hertz, eight eighty hertz, two twenty four, two twenty one. Sorry, eight eighty four. Right. One oh one one It's half of 221. Oh yeah, 110.5. 55 and a quarter. So that would put this around 22 and what's that? 22. Anyway, 442. Middle C. So, uh, I don't know how to play piano. I've never had any lessons ever. Uh, so, somewhere around 1983, 84, I said, hey Rich, let's learn how to play, uh, read music. So, uh, I made these uh, sheets of paper and you found out there's this thing called scales, and uh, there's uh, major scales and minor scales and all kinds of scales. There's even different tunings. Well, this is equal temperament tuning, which means from G sharp to A to A sharp. And they're called semitones, and they're equally divided, except in piano tuning. And there's something called stretch tuning where the lower the note is, the lower below true tuning it is, and the higher on the keyboard you go, the higher above tuning it is. I'm not sure what that means. This keyboard has two uh, sets of uh, 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 tunings. One of them is a regular piano stretch tuning, and another one I have to talk to Roland about to find out what it means. A440, Concert A440. So, let's get to work. Uh, where was it? Oh yeah, Sweet for the Sweet. That's all I know. So I made these sheets of paper with 12 scales on it, and the first page of paper was called the major scale. I started at the top of the page with the scale A major, and at the bottom it was G sharp major, and everything in between. So what I did was I colored in all the legal notes for a major scale, for all 12 scales, and then I sat down and started to play. But it, before I started to play, I put little dots on each legal key for the key of major, A major. So I did that for a while. And then I found out when I got to the minor scales, 
that I, I did a visual scan and then I compared notes and I go, well, hey, wait a second. When I look at the ski of F sharp minor, that's all the same legal notes as A major. And I said, what's going on? So I stopped studying it and I started playing. time very well. well. That's because I don't want to. Time is not immutable. Could somebody please explain that to me in comments? Thank you.
Sweet for the sweet.